how do you find out about this kindness corner? I scroll down the Facebook, then I saw her website in the Facebook. This is the first, my only kindness corner who helped me a lot. I never leave empty handed whenever I come here. I'm really, really very grateful. Just thank my God to let me meet her. She's more like a mother because I lost my mother. I lost my mother. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mako. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me. I'm Farik, and this is my lovely wife, Nohashima. Our initiative is called Igma Kindness Corner. We have done this food giveaway, started from last year, COVID. We went around from house to house to distribute all the groceries and daily essentials. But it feels like it is quite slow on reaching out to those that are in needs. So he got an idea. We decided to put our food outside our home. We want to bring the community to our home so we can interact with them personally. They can pick and choose what they want, what is more essential to them. When we interact with the beneficiaries, they told us what they need. So from there, we try to cater for them. Milo. Milo ah, the drink is it? No, this one not Milo. Yeah, I think. Uh, there, can I have one Milo? The three in one? Okay. Uh. The youngest one. Uh. Okay. Okay. That's why I'm happy to provide a variety of items. They also can choose, oh, there's a new item. In fact, we will uh, post it in the Facebook and we say, okay, new item, sourdough, the raisin uh, braids, all that. So they will be happy to come again. Our policy is, if I'm around, our door will always be open for them. Some of them will share us with all their problems, they will cry. <laughs> they will start crying over at the door. So, our house is like becoming a... Counselling... Counselling centre, <laughs> you see. Yeah. So, we will do our best to cater yeah. to all this, you see. Assalamualaikum. Apa khabar kan? Alhamdulillah, sihat. Sihat. Alhamdulillah, sihat. It's this beneficiary that touched my heart the most. She told me that previously, her father owned a restaurant called Sinau Baru Seafood Restaurant. She herself suffered an accident. She had to go for an operation about five to six times. The cost of the hospital bill is too huge for the father to sustain the restaurant. The restaurant has to go. Life is just like a wheel. One day you can be on top, but the next time you can be just rock bottom. This past five months, we have come across all types of people which is very demanding. These people, some of them that come and hoard our items, we just need to educate them. Whatever they take, if it's more, it can affect other people's family life. And we reassure them that this is available daily. We only posted on social media that we lost about five pairs of shoes and slippers that is branded. I was devastated because I have to go to work in a smaller size slipper. And later part when my son called, it was disheartening because he said to me that he got no school shoe. Yeah, but this is the highlight of the one of the incidents that happened to us. So far we give only groceries and daily essentials. Yeah. It does not include shoe. <laughs> When I started this Kalina's Corner, one of the reasons was to help people. Second was to teach my son the passion of helping each other. Without my family support, I mean my wife, my children, I won't make it this far, we won't make it this far. So every time a beneficiary will come, they will come forward and help us. And at the same time, this is what we want them to be in the future, to be our legacy. What's the food today? Good. We have personally invested about 10,000 on this uh, Kindness Corner. Yes, it affects our, our monthly expenditure. After we calculated, yeah, we are shocked. But like I mentioned, at the end of the day, if we manage to help people, we make people smile, we bring smile to them. We create a lot of friendship over all this, you see. I think the value is more than all that.